Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faith who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding, whose mercy is boundless and love for us is ineffable, Look upon us in this holy house in your compassion and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with a voice of rejoicing. Through the For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He has subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. Through the intercession of the Theotokos, save your sake. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Say. 
In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. Master and Lord our God, you have established in heaven the orders and hosts of angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that holy angels may enter with us, and together we may serve and glorify your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. of your holy ones always known ever into the age of age. Church, it is on page three of your bulletin, followed by the Condacion of the Ascension. Blessed are you, O Christ, our God, who has shown forth the fishermen to be most wise by sending down a Oh, 
Christ our God, upon filling your dispensation for our sake, you ascended in glory, uniting the earthly with the heavenly. You were never separate, but remained inseparable, and cried out to those who love you, I am with you, and no one is against you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy God, you dwell among your saints, you are praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy hymn, and glorified by the cherubim, worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing into being. You created man and woman in your image and likeness, and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant, do not overlook the sinner, but establish repentance as a way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lowly and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar, to offer you to worship and praise. Master, accept the price of holy and also from lips of us sinners, and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies and grant them we worship, worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives by the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Let us be attentive. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, for you are just in all you have done. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, Paul had decided to sail past Ephesus so that he might not have to spend time in Asia, for he was hastening to be at Jerusalem, if possible, on the day of Pentecost. And from Miletus he sent to Ephesus and called to him the elders of the church. And when they came to him, he said to them, Take heed to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to care for the church of God which he obtained with the blood of his own son. I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves will arise men speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after them. Therefore be alert, remembering that for three years I did not cease, night or day, to admonish everyone with tears. And now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I coveted no one's silver or gold or apparel. 
You yourselves know that these hands ministered to my necessities and to those who were with me. In all things I have shown you that by so toiling, one must help the weak, remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had spoken thus, he knelt down and prayed with them all. Peace be to you, the reader. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him power over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work which you gave me to do. For now, Father, you glorify me in your own presence with the glory which I had with you before the world was made. I have manifested your name to the men whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they are, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you, for I have given them the words which you gave me, and they have received them and know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you did send me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me. For they are mine. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. I now am no more in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them, and none of them is lost by the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Wisdom and grant that always guarded by your power we may give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. No one bound by worldly desires and pleasures is worthy to approach, draw near, and minister to the King of glory. To serve you is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as our high priest and Lord of all, and trusted us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, and Lord of the seraphim, and King of Israel. You are alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You are alone and good and ready to hear there from Paul. You look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant. And cleanse my soul and heart from evil consciousness. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit. Invest with the grace of priests that I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Here I come with bowed head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me nor reject me from among your children. Make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts for you, Christ our God of the offer and the offered. The one who receives and is distributed into you, we give glory together with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. We who mystically represent the cherubim sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving Trinity. Let us lay aside all the cares of this life that we may receive the King of all invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who mystically represent the cherubim sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving Trinity. Let us set aside all the cares of this life 
that may receive the King of all His bliss, glory by the Jehovah of hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who mystically represent the cherubim sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving Trinity. Let us lay aside all the cares of this life that we may receive the King of all invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Come, let us worship God our King and bow down before Him. Death de proskinismen ke prospesmen. Christoto vasiliki thaimon. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God. We know none other than you. We call upon your holy name. Hmm? Yeah. Come, all you faithful, let us worship all the resurrection of Christ. We hold through the cross. Joy has come to all the world. All you faithful, let us worship the holy resurrection of Christ for having, having the holy resurrection of Christ. Let us worship the holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God. We know none other than you. We call upon your holy name. Come, all you faithful, let us worship the holy resurrection of Christ. We hold to the cross. Joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection for enduring the cross for us. He has destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the multitude of mercy, blood of my transgressions. Wash me from from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before you. Against you, you only by sin did I sin that that which is evil in your sight, and with unjustified and speak, and blameless when you are judged and order as well for it. You shall purge me of this, wash me from the white and the snow, make me a sound and joy in the darkness. God, remember those who love us and those who hate us. In peace, lift up your hands to the holy places and bless the Lord always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen.
Lord, God, remember your priests and this kingdom always known as the age of the ages. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us with the gifts here presented and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Peace be with all. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Christ is in our midst. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He was his end, always shall be to the endless age. Amen. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He shall be to the endless age. Amen. Tas tiras, tas tiras, in Sofia proshomen. Pisevo isenat teon patera pandokratora piti nuranunke yis oraton de pandon ke oraton ke isenat kirion isun Kriston tonion du zeu ton monogeni ton ek vatros genichenda pro pandon toneonon pos ek potos teon alithinon ek teu alithinu genichenda ubi genichenda. Omousion to patri, diuta panda ieneto. Ton dimas tus antropus, ke diati dimeteran sotirian, katerton daek ton uranon, ke sarko ten daek pneumatos aiu, ke marias tis parthenu, ke natropis anda. Starro ten da te perimone, bifondiu pilatu, 
και παθόντα και τα φέντα και αναστάντα τη τρίτη μέρα κατά τα γραφάς και ανερθόντα εις τους ουρανούς και κατεζόμενων εκ δεξιών του Πατρός και πάλι ερχόμενων μεταδόξης κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς που της βασιλείας που τέστε τέλος και εις το Πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον, το Ζώπιον, το Εκπατρός εκπορευόμενον, το Συμπατρικείο συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενον, το Λαλίσαν διά των προφητών, εις μίαν Αγίαν Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών, προσδοκώ Ανάσταση νέκρων και ζωή του μέλλοντος αιώνας, Amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate, and he suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to sing to you, bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease to everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> for all things we know and do not know. For blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels by the cherubim, seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying... Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, 
that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us. On the night he was delivered up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, sanctified, broke, and gave blessed, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. <clears throat> we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Thus I conson si prospero men catapanda que via panda. Please bow your heads through the end of the next hymn. Once again, we offer you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us. And upon these gifts here presented, God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. God be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer you this spiritual worship for those who are opposed in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, <clears throat> evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Baptist, forerunner, holy, holy, glorious apostles, for Saint Alexis, Metropolitan Moscow, John, Joseph, Nikitas, the monks of Chios, Lydia, the Philippian, equal to the apostles, Mark, the Hermit, the Last, the Holy Martyr, whose <coughs> memories we celebrate this day of all the saints. Remember those who have fallen to the of the resurrection and <coughs> eternal life. Georgia, George, and Emmanuel. And the the rest of God will light your countenance shines. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always known as unto the ages of ages. Amen. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always known ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always known ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Again, we ask you to remember, Lord, all the Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of the presbyters, deacons, and serves Christ, everyone, holy orders. We also have this spiritual worship. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Savas, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind and all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. 
Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our loving God, who has received them at His holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return and send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope. We ask, pray, and entreat. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father Imon, O in this Ranis, I asked the Totonomasu, El Tatu Vasiliasu, Yenitito Totalimasu, Os in Ranoki Epitisis, Tornarto Nimon and Abusion, Los Simin Simeron, Gaf Simin of Limata Imon, Os Kemis Afimens Flat Simon, Kemis and Enkisimas Pivasmon. What is so as the Nivasilia, Kedinamis, Kedoxa, to Patros, Ketuyuk, or Yupnev, Matos Ninke, Ai, Kisuseonas, Don, Eonon, Irini Passi. Taske Falasimonto, Crio, Clino, men. We give thanks to you, invisible King, by your infinite power you have created all things, and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, God, hear us in your holy dwelling place in the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are on throne on high with the Father, and also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us that your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and thrust to all your people. God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me at the rest of us. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God, the Sahis. The of God is broken, distributed, broken, but not divided. His fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, 
have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness. But for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom, it is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but as the thief I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and God. <clears throat> John the unworthy priest. He's given the most precious holy blood of our Lord, and God and Savior Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life, in the name of the Father and the Son of the Spirit. Just forgive me, the unworthy priest and the the resurrection of Christ, let us work with Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ. Praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God. We know none other than you. We call upon your holy name. 
Come, all you faithful, let us worship the Holy Resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. As we come forward for Holy Communion in a reminder of our communion procedures, all those who are Orthodox Christians who have prepared to receive the holy gifts of the body and blood of Christ may come forward as you are dismissed one row at a time by the parish council. All others, please remain where you are that you receive the blessed bread, the andidaron, at the end of the service. You will be dismissed one row at a time from the parish council from the front to the back. All those who are in the sides, please proceed to the back and come up the center aisle and all those in the center, seating in the center will be dismissed again by the parish council. Thank you. Uh, please also return, students and staff, please return to your seats. There is no class today. We will continue the conclusion of the service, and then we will go through to our graduation ceremony. Thank you. With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near.
Oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Wash away, O Lord, by your holy blood, the sins of those commemorated through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving an awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in your right path, establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. For you are sanctification, and do we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, give a blessing. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of light. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Christ our God, you are the footman to long prophets, you have faith and you the Father. Fill our hearts with your plan, as always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Please join us as we offer a memorial and trisayu and prayers today. Forty days for Georgia Lavendus Blackwell, one year for George Beckus, and, and seven year trisayu and for Emmanuel Yakumanakis. <laughs> Yes, so 
Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Of old you created me from nothing and honored me with your divine image. When I disobeyed your commandment, O Lord, you cast me down to the earth from where I was taken. Lead me back again to your likeness and renew my original beauty. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. I am an image of your ineffable glory, though I bear the scars of my transgressions. On your creation, Master, take pity and me by your compassion. Grant me the homeland for which I long, and once again make me a citizen of paradise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Give rest, O God, to the soul of your servants and place them in paradise where the choir of the saints and the righteous will shine as the stars of heaven to your departed servants give rest O lord and forgive all their offenses <laughs> Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who for the salvation of all gave birth to God in the flesh, and through the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. Among the saints, O Christ, give rest to the souls of your servants where there is no pain, no sorrow, no suffering, but life everlasting. Within your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are our God, who descended into Hades, and loosened the pains of those who were chained. Grant rest also, O Savior, 
to the souls of your servants. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Most pure and spotless virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with him for the salvation of the soul of your servants. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great love, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the departed servants of God, Georgia, George, and Emmanuel, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins. From Christ, our immortal King and God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled upon death and abolish the power of the devil, giving life to your world. Give rest to the souls of your servants, Georgia, George, and Emmanuel, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, a place of repose, a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone or without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you, Georgias, Georgiu, ke Emmanuel Christeo Theosimon, ke sitin doxan an apem momen, sin donakus o patri, ke to panagio, ke agadokus o pios o pnevmatin in ke ai, Christus eonas ton eonon. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, Georgia, George, and Emmanuel Christ our God, and to you we give glory. With your eternal Father and your all holy good and life giving spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, dear brothers and sisters, you who are worthy of eternal blessedness and eternal memory. May your memories be eternal, our brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Together, please. Eonia, to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord in his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, and who ascended from us in glory into the heavens, and sat at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy, glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy, victorious martyrs, the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, our father, Alexis, Alexis Met Metropolitan of Moscow, the holy monks of Chios, John, Joseph, and Nikitas, Mark the Hermit, Thelelaeus the Holy Martyr, and of St. Lydia the Philippian, equal to the Apostles, whose memories we celebrate this day, our Father among the Saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have celebrated, and of all the Saints, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity bless and protect you all. Thank you for joining us for worship this morning. So this is a big graduation weekend because I was actually yesterday 
in Boston, and it's apparently in Boston they have this habit that all of the colleges graduate on the same weekend. It's pretty amazing. Uh, but I was there because somebody that you know and you remember graduated from our seminary up in Holy Cross in Boston, in Brookline. Uh, does anybody remember Dimitri Constantine who was with us? I know some of the older ones do especially. So he graduated along with Nico. Nico was with us for Holy Week. Not my Nico, but Nico Brabillus was with us as our chanter for Holy Week, and he graduated as well. And so did Trevor, who was with us two years ago for Holy Week, our seminarian in residences. All three of them graduated this year. So I'm lining up new ones for the coming year. Don't worry about that. All right, so a question. If you want to become a priest, where do you go to study? Hmm? Where would you go to study, guys, if you want to be a priest? A seminary, that's right. Okay, so if you want to go to, let's say, if you want to become an engineer, what kind of school would you go to? An engineering school, that's right. What if you wanted to be an artist and paint beautiful things like art? Well, you'd have to go somewhere special for the iconography, but if you wanted to paint beautiful art or sculptures, where would you go? Where would you go? Hmm? You, go to, you could go to a college that specializes in art, right? There's, beautiful, there's really wonderful schools that teach you that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Where would you go if you want to be a doctor? Where would you go? Doctor's office if you get your degree, but where would you go to learn how to be a doctor? You would go to medical school. That's right. Very good, Andrew. Your father's a doctor, isn't it? So you would know. Yes, excellent. All right. So here's my question. If seminaries teach how to be priests, if art schools teach you how to be an artist, if medical schools teach you how to be a doctor, what do you learn here at church school? Don't say how to be a church. All right. <laughs> what do you learn at church school or at Sunday school? What do you learn? Tell me what you learn. Anything. Please tell me you learned something this year. Yes. <laughs> You learned about God. What else did you learn? You learned the Ten Commandments, so you learned about the Bible as well. Everybody opened their Bible, right, in class? Open, hold your hands up. You all read out of your Bibles this year in your, Bible, in your classes. What else did you learn about? What, what did you learn about? You learned about Jesus. I love you. Mwah. Good for you. He learned about Jesus. Excellent. What else? Somebody that didn't answer. What else? Seniors? Your teacher's sitting right there next to you. <clears throat> What did you learn over the last 18 years? Pick a year, any year. Do not say coloring. Do not say crafts, yes? You learned about the ecumenical councils. That's excellent. CV? Hmm? Pra prayer? Miracles. You learned about miracles. That's a great thing to learn about. The Bible is so full of them, and the stories of our saints are so full of them. What else did we learn? Come on, help me out. I know you learned a lot more than that. Here's the thing. Did, yes. You learned about St. Thomas, that's right, and how he went to Jesus and then he believed, right? Absolutely. Did you? Yeah. You learned about Jesus' disciples. A lot of the disciples are around here on the walls, that's right, and they're in here in the Bible too. All right, so here's the question again. If you go to seminary, and you're going, to be a, you're going to go out when you're done and be a priest. And if you go to medical school, you're going to go out and be a doctor. If you're going to go to art school and you're going to go out and be an artist, what are you going to be when you graduate from church school? I say, uh, say it again. A good Christian. Thank you very much. That's exactly right. You are, you are here to learn to be a good Christian. Now, why is that important? That is important in so many parts of your life. Listen, at the graduation ceremony yesterday in Boston, the, they gave an honorary degree to somebody. This man is a multimillionaire. I mean, he's got lots of money. He takes other people's money and he helps them make money, right? So, what do you think he talked to all the parents and all the graduates about? If you had gobs of money stacked up to the top here. What would you come and talk to people about at a graduation? How to, how to, yes, how to make money? Is that what you said? I couldn't hear. 
Yes. How to, how to save money, how to make money, how to save money. Guess what? He didn't even mention money. You know what he talked about? He talked about how important it was for him as an Orthodox Christian who grew up in a Greek home to learn the lessons that you're learning today. Because not everybody up there graduating was going to be a priest. There were men, there were women. Some of them were going to be priests. Some of them were going to be youth directors. Some of them were going to be counselors. Some will be teachers. Some will be uh, administrators. Some will be diff They will have different roles in the life of the church. And you know what he said? Every single one of you has an important thing to do because I'm here today, he said. Right? He was, what, in his 60s, 70s, whatever. Grew up in an ice Greek home. Served in the army came back and then made his fortune and he said I stand on all the lessons that I learned about being a good person and an honest person and a hard-working person and a faithful person from who from my yayas from my who else mothers and fathers from who else from the people in my church community right and of course from my priest yes and your papus too, and your yayas, and your papus, that's right. So you learn from so many different people. So here is what I want to leave you with. In the book of Acts, there's a woman named Lydia. Happens to be the patron saint of our women's study fellowship. And we have, have had going here for many, many years at Holy Trinity. Guess what? She wasn't a priest. She wasn't a... a uh, a church administrator, she wasn't a Sunday school teacher, she was, she was not, she didn't really have a title, except they ended up giving her a really cool title after what she had done, right? So here's the story, listen up. This is St. Paul on his travels, and he says, it says this, therefore sailing from Troas, that's an area, it's one of the, one of the regions called, one of the cities called Troy in that area of the Asia Minor. He says, we ran a straight course to Samothrace, and the next gate came to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi. So, St. Paul traveled around preaching, right? And he ended up in this place, city, called Philippi. There's a letter that went, he wrote to the people in Philippi. It's called St. Saint Saint Paul's letter to the, come on, Philippians. Thank you very much, Philippians, that's right. All right. He says, we were staying in that city for, a saint, for, for uh, some days. And on the Sabbath day, we went out to the city on the river, to the riverside where prayer was customarily made. And we sat down and listened. This is all they did. Sat down and spoke to the women there. What do you think they spoke about? Hey, could I have your recipe for kularaikya? Uh, you know, what are you going to wear next week to the, to, you know, to, the, to the dance? No, they spoke to them about Jesus. They spoke to them about all the miracles that had happened, about Jesus rising from the dead, right? And so here's what happened. A certain woman named Lydia heard this, heard us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Thyatira who worshipped God. The Lord opened her heart to, the heed, to heed the things spoken by Paul. And when she and her household were baptized, she begged us, saying, If you have judged me faithful to be, be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. So she persuaded us. So Lydia believed, and then what? She went home and she said, to her husband, and she said to her children, and she said to her servants, and she said to everybody else in the household, you have to hear this. This is amazing. Guess what? This is the Messiah we've been waiting for. This is the person. This is, the, this is our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you need to know about him. And they all came and believed. So you don't have to be a priest to do that. You have to be a, do it again, louder, louder. Say it again, a good Christian, and you have to be willing and ready to share your faith. So take all that stuff you learned this year, last year, the last 12 years, put it all together and get ready to go out in the world to share it. Don't wait till graduation. You might have to do it tomorrow, the day after, next month, next year. And guess how you keep, last thing, guess how you keep it all very fresh in your mind and you don't forget about it. What happens in September? Yes. You continue to do what? To come to church. Everybody, you continue to come to church. 
You know there's one phrase that's never mentioned in the hymns of the church? We have so many beautiful hymns. You know what's not ever mentioned in the church? I've looked and looked. I can't find it. It's not in the Bible yet either. What do you say to your friends when you leave school in May or June? What do you say? See you in... Say it. See you in... August, see you in September, right? Guess what? Not in the Bible. Not in the Bible. And it's not in the hymns of the church either. What do we say? See you next Sunday. Thank you very much. Parents, parents, repeat after me. See you next Sunday. Thank you very, very much. Let's go ahead. All right. We're going to call our classes up here. Thank you very much. All right, so what we're going to do is, thank you, we first would like, we first would like our support staff, we have various people that help out uh, besides the teachers, and we're very thankful for them. Mary Ellen Stewart has been helping us with special projects. Mary Ellen, please come on up. We remembered what you did, don't worry. <laughs> I know you're surprised, but we're uh, thankful to have you here. God bless you, dear. Thank you very much. So once you receive your certificate, go ahead and stay with Father Radu here after you receive the blessing. Then Jean Willow, with our thanks for help with coordinating the snacks. Jean, thank you very much for that. And she's doing it now. Thank you. There she is. Including our snacks today, right? God bless you. Thank you, dear. God bless you. Thank you. Nikki Marsh, uh, stay here for a picture, please. Uh, Mary Ellen, stay, stay right here. Uh, Nikki Marsh is not here today, I believe. She is one of our substitute teachers. Uh, Mary Magdalene Welch, where are you, Mary Magdalene? Come on up. There you are. Who is our St. Spirit on Library founder and coordinator. And Connie is not going to be able to take the picture because Connie needs to come up, too. Because she is also... Con Connie is picking up the responsibilities for the library and appreciate everything she has done. If you've never been up there, parents, feel free to take a walk up and take a look. All right, so, and then Nicole Steiner, also a St. Spirit on Library helper. Nicole, come on up, and let's have all of you together right here. Thank you very much, Nicole. God bless you, dear. All right, let's have all of you in the middle. Father Rado and I will go on the input Spiro in the middle there. There you go. Okay, two of you over here. Come on over here, Nicole. There you go. All right. And we have our photographers here and ready to go. For anyone that wants to take pictures throughout this, I just ask that our official photographer take this picture first, and then anybody that wants to can, just please be in place so that we don't have to wait. All right. God bless you all. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, do. Melanie, how are you, sweetheart? Okay, um, we also had. We also have from our Spain Spirit on Library four, five students that were selected to come up and receive their Saint Spirit on Award. The Spiritonian Award is in recognition of outstanding dedication to reading and learning about the faith through resources in the Saint Spirit on Church School Lending Library. And so the recipients are Andrew Stefanow. Andrew, come on up. Hey, when, you come, when you hear your name, come on up. Andrew Stepanel, Oliver Pays, Lucy Steiner, Anna Deducis, and Daniel Willow. Andrew, for you. Oliver. Daniel. Lucy and Anna. God bless you all. Okay, hold your icon, St. Spirit on is looking out. There you go. And here, come this way, Lucy. Come this way, sweetie.
All right. God bless you all. You may kiss the cross there with Father Radu. Thank you very much. Make sure you take care of those. All right. Let's move on. We have our preschool class. Okay. Our teachers for preschool are Stephanie Guimon and Doreen Pays. So please come on up with your certificates. God bless you. Thank you for your wonderful help this year. God bless you, dear. And let's call your class up. So we'll put you there next to Father Radu. Sierra uh, Geyer. Triandafilos Skumas. Sierra, hold that up. Hold that right there so everybody can see. Okay. Triandafilos Skumas. There you go. Love the jacket. All right. Luke Caramano. Luke, come on up, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Yep. Come on. This is for you. Very good. Don't be shy. There you go. Cora Herreras. Cora, that's right. Bring your backpack. No problem. It shows us to be a very serious church school. Okay. Oh, uh, Stephanie, Stephanie. Oh, that's Stephanie. Okay, Cora. Cora, Stephanie. Excellent. You're ready to pack up your St. Spiridon checkout materials, aren't you? And Demetrius Kolovos. Demetrius, are you here today? Huh? Bash. Okay, well, if you want to come up for the picture, you're more than welcome to. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's bring everybody this way a little bit. Let's put you up in front here. Come this way. Here you go. Come over a little bit this way. All right. And everybody look at all those cameras and smile. <laughs> Peter, did you get yours? Okay. Thank you. Hold still, hold still, turn around, turn around, sweetie. Okay, thank you. Again, parents, I know you're excited, but please allow the official picture to be taken first, and then everybody can take what they want. All right, just helps us keep things moving. Sorry. Thanks, thanks. Next is our kindergarten class. And our teachers are Christina Mackerel, and Jennifer Stepanow. Bless you, dear. Thank you so much for your help. Nice to have you here today. God bless you. Dear. Thank you. All right, our students, here they come. Isaiah Huff. God bless you, Isaiah. Can you get your certificate then? Kiss the cross from Father Radu. There you go. Uh, Alyssa Mackerel. Alyssa. There you go. Hi, sweetie. There you go. Kiss Father Rabbit's across there. Mia Palomara. Hello, Mia. Congratulations. Athena Caramano. Constantine Deducis. There you go, Constantine. Good job. Oliver Pays. And Addison Sh uh, Sharm. Shram. Allison, there you go. All right. Everybody, look that way. Wait, official picture first. All right. And everybody, come here this way. Come right in here. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Come this way a little bit. All right. And everybody, hold your certificates so they can see them. Don't cover your face. Okay, perfect. Right here. Put your other hand up. Put your other hand like this. All right, and everybody, big smiles. Hold still. Okay, thank you, God bless you. Just keeps getting better and better. All right, next is our third and fourth grade class. We're getting, sorry. Our first and second grade, and let's have all the students just come up. Come up, everybody at once, and we'll hand them out this way. Our teachers are 
Our teachers are Alexandra Valiant, God bless you, sweetheart, and Maria Georgiadis, God bless you, dear. All right, let's have you all come up and line up right here. Line up and face that way. We'll be ready for our picture. I'm going to hand the certificates to you. All right, Christine Stefanow. Christina. Maya Kefalos. Elena Kolovos. Connor Mackerel. Ilya Pergonchev, Lucy Steiner, and Sophia Steiner. All right, good job, everybody. Turn it around, I mean, just face the camera. Let's get our official one first. Hold your certificates, but not over your face. Hold nice and still. Don't move. Okay, everybody, on your way out, kiss the cross with Father Radu. Right here, right here. There you go. Okay. All right, next, we have third and fourth grade. Let's have the entire class come up again. They're getting bigger here. And our teachers are Penny Georgiadis and Stina Zikas. Penny having the distinguished status, I believe, of being the, the longest term teacher on our staff. I believe so. Christina Zickes. Thank you very much, Christina. Okay. Oh, this is pretty nice, except everybody take like two steps this way. Okay, and back up a little bit there. All right. We have Anna Deducis. Anna. Daniel Willow. Grace. Stefan, Grace, there you go. Elizabeth Paulus, Nicholas Caparacus, there you go. Steve Gimon, Eric Gimon, Mia Janutsis, Kennedy Gahagan. God bless you all, thank you. All right, uh, Father Radu, go on the end there and I'll. Yeah, Penny, want to go over with Father Radu. You know what, move a little bit closer together. A little closer together. Okay. All right, God bless you all, and go ahead and you can reference the cross on the way out. Go ahead, right there. Next is our fifth and sixth grade class. Thank you. Again, the entire class, let's bring you up here. Our teachers are Joanna, Joanne Germanos and Mina Dorisco. Mina, thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you for everything. Joanne, God bless you. Thank you. I saw your daughter yesterday in Boston, yes? Yeah. Okay, here we are, hang on. Vasily Valores, Rebecca Bordianu. By the way, when they hold up certificates, a number of them have uh, a sticker with a red check mark on it. Those are either good or perfect attendance award, but we're happy to have you whenever you come, so God bless you all. Ella Bunis, Ella, Stefania Bunis. Patricia Perichev, got it right, huh? Andrew Stefanow, and Christopher Willow. All right, whoops. All right, come in closer a little bit this way, and hold your certificates up, and everybody look that way. Don't move. Very good. Thank you very much, everybody. Go ahead and reverence the cross on your way out. Line up, line up there. Seventh and eighth grade.
Our teachers are Peter Giganis, Dr. Peter Giganis, Alexandra Abood. Thank you, Peter. Alex here today? No, she's out of town. She's out of town. And Anthony Ballouris. God bless you, Anthony. Thank you. All right. They're getting better, aren't they? Uh, Michael Alizari. God bless you, Michael. Uh, Mr. Cleese Ballouris. Max Germanos. Zoe Catris. Angelina Skumas. Alex Tomalski. And Luke Tomalski. God bless you guys. Excellent. Okay, let's make sure we see the teachers there too. And everybody look and smile. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. You're going to reverence the cross on the way out the door, out the back to your seats. Next are our ninth and tenth graders. And our teacher is Presbytera Loredana Bordellano. God bless you, dear. Thank you very much. Well, come on up, everybody. And let's line them up here. <clears throat> All right. Ekaterini Valoris. Petros Boloris, Anna Bordellanu, bless you, sweetheart, Christian Georgiadis, God bless you, Christian, Chloe Germanos, Sophia Catris, Lucy Morris, and Theos Gumas, God bless you all. All right, let's, uh, we got to compress these a little bit, they'll get too long. You turn your shoulders in this way, that way, you turn this way. That way, scoop in a little bit this way. There you go. Pull, come your finger folders in this way. No. That way. There you go. All right. No, 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 no. There. Pretend like you like it. Okay. <laughs> Smile. Okay. So there you go. Thank you very much, and Reverend Cross on the way out. They're not used to being so close to each other, except when they're smashed in, va in, in, in vans for basketball tournaments, or in cabins for summer camp, or all the other fun stuff they do. You know? You know? And now? Okay, our senior, our 11th and 12th grades, Presbytera Eileen Sidor and Presbytera Becky Tulumis. Wearing many hats today, as usual. Both of you, thank you very much. They do a lot more than teach the, uh, teach the senior class. Uh, now, this, this one will... <laughs> our, representing the entire junior class is Sarah Hulse, as the only member of the junior class. <laughs> God bless you, dear. Uh, we have this is two grades, and it just so happens in that up and down of uh, population that we have one, one junior this year, but we got a whole bunch of seniors coming up. So, well, yes. There are two more, but you're the only one here today. All right. Uh, picture? Yes. Let's go over a little bit. You're good. Student's worst nightmare is more teachers and administrators than students. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, we now come to the seniors. And it's the time when I usually thank you for your patience. And I have to remind you if your goal is getting out of here, sooner than later today, then there's quite a lot of churches that I could find to send you to, unfortunately, and I really say this sadly, unfortunately, 
Because you know the kind of churches that only take three or four or five minutes to do their graduation celebration? What kind? Dying churches. This is not a dying church. This is a thriving and growing and living church. And the fact that we've got these wonderful children, we have these beautiful graduates, and there's more coming up as time goes on is something that you really need to look and say, thank you, Lord, those few extra minutes today in church to honor our children and encourage them was nothing of a sacrifice compared to the rewards that it gives. Remember my talk to the children about how what you do for them and encourage them means so much later on in their life because you are what they will depend on. All right, let's go. Our first senior, and I'm going to ask the senior and the parents to come up, please. We're going to ask um, Emily, Deris I'm, excuse me, El Emily Adamchek to, <laughs> to please come up along with her parents, Mark and Theodora. Teddy? Congratulations. God bless you, dear. Are you? And let me put you in the middle here. Congratulations. Thank you. Sorry. Congratulations. Okay, let's put you in the middle here. And uh, let's do the picture first, and I'll do the announcements. Thank you. Okay, don't go anywhere. Teddy is graduating, excuse me, Emily is graduating from North Allegheny Senior High School. Uh, she was involved in Key Club, in DECA. DECA has come up actually in a couple of people. Uh, DECA, and again, is? It's like a big missing thing. What does it stand for? Anybody know? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what DECA stands for, but it's a business and marketing club and a development uh, organization. All right, so Key Club, DECA. She was on the North Allegheny Tigerthon, which helped raise money for fight against pediatric cancer. She was on the North Park skating team for nine years, was in numerous competitions, and earned several medals. And by the way, I can testify that because we saw her last performance, right, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it was marvelous. Um, she was uh, employed by Allegheny County as a figure skating instructor for the North Park Learning to Skate program. And not only did she teach people that, I mean, just children signing up for it, but also she specialized with children with special needs. Uh, here at Holy Trinity, she's been in Hope, in Joy, in Goya, in, go in basketball, in volleyball, participated in pretty much everything Goya. Uh, she has been to Camp Nazareth, was one of our many Ionian Village attendees last year, and she will be attending Penn State University Park in the LEAP program and will be majoring in business. God bless you. Congratulations. Thank you. Let me have you stand over there because at the end we're going to get all the senior families. Next, we could have Melanie Hulse please come up with George and Amanda. <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, we have the answer to our quiz. Come on over here. DECA stands, DECA stands for? Uh. Distributive Education Clubs of America. Okay, so that, she knows that because she was also involved with DECA throughout her high school career. Um, Melanie has attended the, is a graduate of the Pennsylvania Cyber Charter School and uh, has been involved in community service projects uh, she's been involved in DECA and, uh, and chapter invitations to the Emerging Leadership Programs at the International Career Development Conference in Anaheim and Atlanta. She received a DECA State Merit Scholarship at a conference in Hershey and has been recognized through her school, through um, her achievements in DECA as well as in the classroom and uh, has presented to the school board and executive board on numerous occasions. She has uh, received numerous awards, including the National Junior Honor Society, the National Honor Society, Photography Club, DECA for three years. She was vice president of marketing, junior, uh, junior president, or her junior year, and the president her senior year. Has been in Goya and church school. Uh, has also, well, let's see. We'll also later today be finishing up that, and when I say that, I mean, or tomorrow, hopefully, but that is the online broadcast. So for all of you 
who are watching online now or will watch these broadcasts or listen to them later, right here is the girl that makes it possible. Uh, Melanie came forward, uh, how long ago? Two years? Two years ago and said, I love this stuff. Can I help? These are the magic three words that every priest loves to hear. Can I help? Right? And so what she does is takes our online video broadcast, and you saw right up in the Herald last year, she produces the 58 minute and 30 second version to go on to the Pittsburgh Faith and Family Channel every week. She produces the Orthros and the Liturgy video to go on our website, and then extracts the sermon audios that go on the front page of the website and in our sermon archives. All that work she's got down to a T, but it wouldn't happen without a lot of love and dedication, so we really thank her for all of that. She has also done, um, oh, she's also managing our Facebook page. Um, she has taken piano for lessons for 10 years and specialized in videography and editing. She is going to seek a degree at Robert Morris University, uh, double majoring in business with a concentration in marketing and media arts and video production to hopefully go into a career in digital media marketing. So God bless you. Thank you very much for that. And let's get our picture. Thank you so much. To kind of take a place over here. Actually, you know what? Go on that side. Hmm? Okay, Luke Stephen. Let's have Kirk and Fran up here with him. Luke, congratulations. Thank you. God bless you. There you go. Congratulations, Fran. Thank you. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. Okay. Come on over here, and let's talk about for a minute. Luke is graduating from North Allegheny Senior High School. He has been in the National Honor Society and the Junior Honor Society and received the President's Award for Educational Excellence, a key club for three years. He's also been in the, uh, he's also on the, national, uh, the North Allegheny soccer team, uh, which went to Whippeal Championships, where was that? In Highmark Stadium, excellent. Uh, he's been, worked for our festival here, um, the church school, has been in, uh, a volunteer at the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh on their teen volunteer program for three years. He uh, also worked for the, uh, or volunteered for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Um, he was on the 2018 Students of the Year campaign and he was nominated by his high school to participate in the U.S. in the uh, oh, well. uh, what, yeah right what is that leukemia right oh okay to participate in that campaign um, he was one, number, one of nine students in Western Pennsylvania and West Virginia selected for that he also very impressively raised more than twelve thousand dollars personally and that group raised a hundred and forty thousand dollars. Uh, all together for the Leukemia, Lymphoma, and Leukemia, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Uh, Luke, when you're done, I'd like to introduce you to Ted Stewart, our stewardship chairman. <laughs> and uh, remember, there's always good ways to apply those talents right here at Holy Trinity Church. Uh, let's see. Uh, he also uh, organized a fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. He is in the Riverhounds Development Academy. He was the captain has been there for four years, and he has his third degree in black belt taekwondo. <laughs> Which he only uses for peaceful purposes. Congratulations. God bless you. All right. Picture. Say again. Oh, I'm sorry. One second. And I was in the middle of the page. He is going to be attending George Washington University for a degree in international business and finance. Thank you. God bless you. We'll take place right over here. Next is Anton Paragonchev. Andre and Irina, please come up as well, please. God bless you. Congratulations. All right, let's have you in the middle over here. All right, Anton is graduating from North Allegheny High School as well. 
He has been a scholar athlete, a three-time letterman in track. You'll hear about that in a second. Uh, outstanding student of the month and also three-time track Whippeal champion. Uh, he's been in track and field for five years. He's also been, he's been in Spanish club. He's been involved in a lot of stuff at Holy Trinity Church here and also previously at Holy Cross before coming here. Uh, church school, Goya. He's a Goya officer. Um, also our Goya basketball and volleyball teams. He's been to summer camp for many years. Been on three mission trips. Been an acolyte. It just, ah, uh, it really pains me to say goodbye to these acolytes, but you're always an acolyte, so you can come back in when you come back and visit. Uh, that our da Greek dance troupe and uh, been a festival volunteer. He is going to be attending John Carroll University and majoring in accounting, but he also is going to be in track and field there on the John Carroll team doing triple jump. Congratulations, Anton. God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's go over this way. Yeah. Three more. Thank you very much again for your patience. I'd like to call our Goya Vice President, Dimitri Elias Germanus, up, please, along with his parents, Tom and Joanne. God bless you, Dimitri. Congratulations. Here you go. God bless you, Tom. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you as well, because I want to highlight, here, come over this way a little bit. Yes. I want to highlight that uh, because he's got one of the Perfect Attendance Award stickers here, he commented at the end, I would like to thank my parents for always making sure my siblings and I made it to church every Sunday. So there you go. <laughs> that is our church school version of the gold watch, I suppose. All right. Uh, Dimitri has attended uh, Pittsburgh Central Catholic High School and he has been on the honors list there. Uh, he's been in cross country for six years, volleyball for four years, track and field for three years. He's been in the Young Americans for Freedom uh, as a chapter co-founder, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Pro-Life Club, uh, Armed Forces Interest Club, and Future Business Leaders of America. That's a lot. Uh, congratulations on all of that. He's also been here in our church school for uh, <clears throat> pretty much all his life. Uh, Goya as well, the entire Goya tenure. He's been Goya vice president. He's vice president uh, two years, one year? Two years vice president. He's been on our Goya basketball and volleyball teams. The full career at summer camp, all 12 years. He's been to Project Mexico, uh, our, our other Cedar Point and monastery trips. Um, been an acolyte, again. Mm. Uh, Dance group for 13 years, our festival, entire, his entire life, I think since he's a toddler. Uh, been done, he's done the Focus Food Drive Syrian Relief Dinner, also one of our Ionian Village attendees, and he will be attending Miami University uh, with a major in engineering. God bless you, congratulations. All right, that's of Ohio, right? Miami of Ohio? Yeah, yeah Miami, Miami University of Ohio. <clears throat> Okay, congratulations. I'll take a uh, place right over there, I suppose. Two more. Nick Barex, uh, along with his parents, Chris and Maria. <clears throat> and Nick's papu is back there somewhere. <clears throat> congratulations. Congratulations. Picture. Do you want me to pull them out? Yeah. Yeah. Father Dimitri, come out for the picture. There you go. Special clergy privileges here. Come on out. All right. So, Nicholas is uh, graduating Pine Richland High School. He is an honorable student. He has been, as everybody knows, on the football team, um, and including um, Whippeal and uh, state champion. <laughs> the school award for humility and uh, <laughs> trained by his papu all right uh, a varsity football letterman in-house basketball champion uh, in ninth grade what is in <laughs> uh, and also yes he, he wants to note as well that his uh, 
He was, the, he was uh, tutored in basketball, coached in basketball with the greatest coach in in-house, I guess, uh, Holy Trinity? Oh, in-house history, Jim Balouris. Right there you go, okay. Also has been playing football since sixth grade. He's been in church school all his life, Goya, all, all Goya life. He's been a Goya, he's a Goya officer right now. Um, he is a uh, Goya basketball and volleyball uh, and been an acolyte since he was eight years old. Um, he is a <laughs> festival volunteer and a self-proclaimed long, long time fry guy, <laughs> but who actually uh, turned runner uh, in his later years. So, so it goes to show that the festival takes multiple talents and Nick's ready to face them all. He is uh, going to West Virginia University and his major will be possibly business, but still to be decided, but possibly business. Hey, we can join his parents with his prayers. Then, um, also I wanted to note that Nick said that he wanted to thank his parents for raising him to be who he is today. Uh, in, as, a, uh, as a faithful Greek Orthodox Christian. Uh, and also, he sends his thanks to the community and to Presbytera Becky, Presbytera Eileen, Presbytera Loredana, and Father Rado, you and I got a shout out on that one as well. Says, we, we are all the reason that Goya is able to, um, to function and flourish. And also, thank you to all of his Goya friends. There you are. Uh, the lasting memories together, and he's been very happy to have you all in his company. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, let's have you over here. And last one is, huh? Yeah, yes. Stefan Bordianu, our Goya president, also our head acolyte, who will be greatly missed on both counts, but he's going to be nearby, so we're looking forward to seeing him often. God bless him. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Would you like to do the honors for your son? I don't mind. Okay. You'll probably start crying. Uh, all right, so Stefan is a graduate of is graduating North Allegheny High School. Uh, he has been in the national he is in the National Honor Society and has served as the social chair. You may remember from uh, was this last year, Christmas. Last year, Stefan participated in the not just local and regional and metropolis, but the national St. John Chrysostom Oratorical Festival. He was one of eight teens in the country to compete in that and he brought home a $1,500 scholarship, which I imagine will come in handy for college. Uh, he was nominated for Student of the Quarter Award at NA and, his outstand and recognized for his outstanding efforts in academic and student achievements. He also has been a Boy Scout for many years and by the end of this month, God willing, will be an Eagle Scout as well. Congratulations on that. He's been a volunteer firefighter for four years with Bradford Woods and Marshall Fire Departments. He has been at over 150 emergencies and, attend and been at 350 hours of training. Uh, he's been an assistant patrol leader. He's been in Goya ever since he was able to, as he says. Uh, he was treasurer last year, is president now. He's been a camper at Camp Nazareth in our metropolis for 10 years. He also attended Ionian Village. Uh, has been a tremendous help in the, in the sanctuary here as an acolyte and training his uh, replacements as well over the last few months is a community editor of the North Allegheny High School uh, Uproar High School newspaper, written many articles there, including a promoting our festival, uh, has been part of the Save the Children Network, uh, which uh, seeks to ac provide access to adequate health care and education for children in America and developing countries, uh, served on political campaigns, you'll see why in a minute, has served uh, in the North Allegheny High School for, excuse me, orchestra, for nine years and has been part of the Golden Strolling Strings Orchestra for two years. Has worked at our festival, our dance troupe, uh, been in the gyro tent, I suppose with Nick, and, who, <laughs> uh, and then uh, has been in the North Allegheny Basketball Association for six years. Goya Basketball is attending University of Pittsburgh, the University Honors College, and majoring in politics and philosophy. God bless you. Thank you. All right.
One more? Is that it? Okay. All of our... Peter, can you arrange us? Yeah. So... Say it again. Do what? Okay. Oh. Okay. The seniors only step forward? Oh, everybody step forward. Just come straight forward where you are. Come on in. No, all the, like, like here. Okay. That's good. Now, Father Rado, stay in the middle here with your son. <clears throat> And I'm going to go over here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and seniors, stay where you are. Could I have the parents, if you don't mind, slide off this way? And when we get just the seniors... That way, Father Radu, Father Radu, on that side. What's that? Yes. Yeah, here. <clears throat> okay, big smiles. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you for your patience very much this morning. Please be sure to congratulate all of our students. When you see them today, make sure you tell them how proud you are of them and thankful for the wonderful, inspiring examples.